Like you're, yeah. like you're riding a motorcycle. Hold your wings. <laughs> I'm just gonna cup your breast. You're my Harley. <laughs> you're my Harley Davidson. Right. Damn it. Oh, okay. I'm recording now. This is gonna get you. Okay, this is Alex Nuttall with Ogfam K, and we're sitting here with the Norv Scheme, Greg Willis, and Andy Hector Trana. Yeah. And uh, we're missing uh, one more guy. Who's who? Matt. So these guys are getting warmed up for the show. As yeah. you can tell, they're health freaks. Um, Matt's out skateboarding and. Um, I guess basically we'll just start off with over here is uh, all the way from the West Coast, another member of the family, <laughs> Mr. Brian Willis. Say hi, Brian. Howdy. Rock on. Okay. Howdy, folks. All right. First thing I want to just uh, introduce myself. We are Ogfam K. We're also the NorfolkScene.com. And um, the impetus to get this all started was a conversation with Lon Bennett who's also on our zine, he's like our art director. Right. And uh, I went home and I was looking it up and nobody had NorfolkScene.com. I said, fuck that, man, I'm buying it. Yeah, there you go. Um, so basically, we want to focus on the scene of the beach area, uh, Norfolk, things like that. Norfolk's just in the middle when you fly in where you go oh, to, or yeah. right? Right. All right, so let's, enough about us, let's talk about you. So we have uh, Greg Willis, He's. Have you been with the band the longest? Uh, only what five years now? Yeah. Five, yeah. five years. Five years. Five years. Yeah. And uh, how long have you been with the band? Since the beginning. So since oh man, since 2007, I guess was when we started. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so 2007 is when we started. And um, gosh, um, how, how did y'all come across? Um, I want to put Bobby there, but it's uh, what Matt. Matt. And uh, that's Matt Coretta. He's the drummer, and I've heard really good things about him from Greg. Like, he just smokes the drum like a cheap cigar. Yeah, sure does. <laughs> cool. Well, um, Greg, or uh, actually um, Hector. Yes. Or Andy. Whatever you like. What would you? What would? What was the influence that started um, the nerve scene scheme? Uh, like musically? Yeah. What? What? Oh man, no, no. punk rock, the old no effects, lag wagon, all that old punk rock stuff. Like right. Nineties punk rock for us. But uh, you know, I like other stuff too, oldies and eighties rock, so a bunch of stuff. Seventies classic. Yeah, seventies classic rock, I like all that <laughs> shit, man. I just wanted to start a band, you know. Right, right. Well, that's awesome, man. That's, that's ten years. Yeah. And um, what would you say your influences were to like any particular musicians? Yeah, or? No, no, nothing in particular. I mean, I always thought I would be Eddie Van Halen. You know? <laughs> right, <laughs> right on. <laughs> but uh, I like oldies. I grew up listening to oldies a lot. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think I just wanted to play in a band, play in a rockin' band. Well, I think if you weren't influenced by Eddie Van Halen, something was wrong, you know? <laughs> right. It's like, never mind that Sammy Hagar came in and That's messed right. things up. But anyway, I mean... But, yeah, I just wanted to be in a band. Cool. I remember watching Eddie Van Halen and thinking, yeah, I could do that. Right, right. Yeah. So, all right, Greg, what would you say your influences were as far as uh, you play you know, bass? He plays guitar. Oh, I'm sorry. You, uh, Andy or Hector, he plays guitar. He also oh, does yeah. vocals. Yes. Did, do you? Does anybody else do vocals? Matt does backup vocals okay. when he feels like it. He's right. going to do them tonight, though. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> we're trying to get Greg to know him. So, hey, Greg, what would you say your influences were? I know that in the early 90s you liked Smashing Pumpkins. And uh, what else would kind of influence you? Uh, I mean, I, I grew up on, you know, old 80s punk and I, 90s punk as well. Right. Any particular musicians that really, like, boggle your scrotum? I mean, like, <laughs> Keith Morris from the Circle Jerks and Black Flag. And gotcha. Seven Seconds, those bands, those are, those are the ones that got me interested. Right. And the Ramones, of course. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. The classic. How can I forget about that? 
and um, I guess um, what got you into uh, obviously guitar was Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. What are your other guitar influences besides um, that? And I don't know. Like, no, no one in particular. You know, I was kind of right. Kind of Greg. <laughs> And and Greg, what? How, how did you decide to choose the bass? What 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 it drove was you? It kind of a loop in another band I was in. Um, I played guitar and then. You talking about the low budgets? I'm sorry, the. Uh, um, the Unibombers. Unibombers. Yeah. I, I'm, every time I think of Brian, uh, did the cover for the Unibombers uh, mm-hmm. album. It's really yeah, cool. Really and every time I I see that I think of this Pennsylvania van called the Low Budgets because of the tire being blown out. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, fantastic cover. Yeah, you know. um, so so you were you were you you were at a crossroad. You were like, do I play guitar or do I play the bass? I enjoyed playing guitar more so then, but I, I enjoy playing bass now. I've right. Been for so long, I, I really enjoy it. Do you have any bass influences that like really? I mean, not really. I'm more like, you just I mean I guess when I think of bass I think of this is the this is the this and the drummers keeping the cadence of the song of the music and so like bass can be very simple but very disciplined as well like you really like I love Getty from Rush sure yeah absolutely I mean you know when you think about bass that's like if you don't think about Getty something's wrong right right it's and of course, well, even Sting from the Police, like his whole yeah, Police stuff. He absolutely. Really so, very good. Now, um, I'm also. Uh, so I was going to ask um, our our beloved drummer. Uh, here he is. Uh, so he's out. He's out skateboarding. Yeah. yeah. He's the shy one of the band. Right. Really. Well, that's good. I mean, he shows up and does his job. That's that's the most important thing. It does the um, bare minimum. Now, I, I noticed when I went to your website that you have a you, you've released your a free album. Yes. So that wasn't there before. Oh, uh, it's been there for a couple of years now. Yeah, it's been there since oh, it's 2013. Been, it's been there. Okay, so yeah. I, I wasn't there before then. That's yeah, right. yeah, it's yeah. been there. Okay. Now, um, and I guess you guys really need to update the website because uh, yeah, we'll uh, Greg's. Yeah. Greg schooled me on some pictures. He was like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there's some old... I got you. Well, anyway... We rotate every, drummers every, like we change our underwear. Uh, I hear you. For a couple years. Couple, every couple years. Plus, okay. I mean, it is what it is. I can practice schedules. What it is. <laughs> Once a week, can't do it. Well, that's a good question. Now, you guys... It looks like you have a pretty good practice space. Where are y'all practicing? Oh, right. Actually, at Matt's house, he's got a converted garage, a little studio in there, so yeah. it works out really well. Oh wow! Yeah. So that's the the latest pictures coming from there. Uh, some, yeah, there was a couple of pictures from there. Uh, like, yeah. I, there's a really good one where it's like a, it's like a a, a wide a fisheye lens. I think that was Matt at Matt's house. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But that, that's a that was a great photo. Yeah. Well, we had a studio in Hampton, Hampton Double O Studio, Double O Seven. Okay. And I guess it's my understanding from talking to Greg that you guys are working on an album, or yeah, you, yeah. yeah slowly. <laughs> gotta take a can. summer break, you know. Yeah. We always got things going on. We'd like so. to release an EP this this coming year for sure. Okay. So uh, the album that you're working on, or the EP, is that going to be just part of it, or it just those are just some tight songs that you feel like you you're ready to get out? Uh, well, we have a couple good songs already recorded for like a year now, but we yeah we still in the writing process of yeah. writing more. We, we have a we have a couple new ones. Yeah, but... on Bandcamp, we got a Bandcamp page. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I give you that horse in the head. What the hell is that? Is that like my face? <laughs> Band camp. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, what I'd like to do is, uh, after we finish this uh, talking, I want to get some social media stuff, and we want to go ahead and... Um, well, we we want to start doing, like, band pages, like we're doing for our contributors. Yeah. And that way... We can get like your latest social media because obviously you don't always have the time right. to to do that. But if you contact us, we'll update it for you. You yeah. just shoot us an email and be like, "Hey, look, this is what we because we want to do that for everybody." Right. Nice. I mean, I'm I don't care That's what cool. kind of music yeah. you do or play. Why not? Yeah. You know, basically yeah. Google runs our stuff. Yeah. So 
it's unlimited. Right? You know, that's just that. So I do want to get some some social media information for you guys. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the, okay, you you got a free album. It's been out for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So how long has that been out? Uh, yeah, it's like four oh, years. Yeah. Okay. But a while. Gotcha. Now. But it's, hey, it's out there. I mean, that's the most important thing. A lot of people, they get together and, and they, they like, fuck it, I quit, because it ain't perfect. Yeah, we did. And we had a whole year where we didn't, well, not even a year. It was like six months where we didn't even play the songs because we had to find a new drummer. So yeah, spent time finding Matt and getting him up to speed and then uh, we start playing that. So we felt like it was, they were all new songs by the time we got to play them again. Yeah, so. for sure. Right. Now we're sick of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, uh, oh, your future work and goals. What would you say? What's up in the future besides releasing an EP? Man, I think we're trying to do like play out more. Maybe Some more out out of state too. Yeah. For sure. go, out, go out of town more. Um, maybe play play other shows besides like you know the venue, maybe get on a festival or something. I know they do a few things around here that we'll probably get on. Like, I think this weekend was the uh, the surf championship thing. Uh, right. They have bands up there, right? So. And thank goodness surf music's always been really yeah, cool and embracing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Thrasher would be nothing without skateboards and music. That's right. So uh, we're just trying to spread our wings more, I guess. I learned about a lot of cool bands from Thrasher Magazine. Oh yeah, well, I mean, they were they were like maximum rock and roll, except oh, they yeah. had money. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, they they totally embraced a, a, a certain lifestyle and product, and you know, where there's where there's sports, there's sponsorship. Where there's sponsorship, there's money. Yeah. Right. Um, now, uh, another thing. Oh yeah. What, what's your um, what's your EP going to be called? Don't know yet. We've, yeah, we've pondered several yeah, different yeah, ideas. Yeah, we got several names. But uh, nothing definitive. We still need like a cover and all that shit too. So. Gotcha. Yeah, now, you guys are. On t-shirts. Uh, I don't know. Greg makes all the t-shirts. Oh, you silkscreen? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So, uh, yeah. You know, we're trying just to get new ideas for designs for that. So it's right. Like, just a bunch of stuff. DIY. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Well, hey, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's mainly me and Greg doing all the thinking. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys have a label too. Is that correct? Or you uh, guys were, uh, yeah. That was a while ago. I mean, labels are. There's really not much to a label these really. days. He helped us get our music out out there in stores and things like who, that. Who was that? Jet House Records. Uh, Dave Johnson's his name, but yeah, I'm not cool, sure. Cool fellow. He's still got a lot of great bands on his label. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't seen him online. Well, we, What's his name? Dave Johnson. Dave Johnson. Jet House, Jet House Records. Records. But uh, I haven't seen him online in a while, so I don't know. No, I don't know what's going on with the label, but yeah, I mean, he had like Blank Seventy Seven on his label. Right. A lot of good bands. Yeah. But, uh, you know, whatever, kind of fell through. Well, they didn't fall through. We were touring when we were on that, and uh, kind of stopped doing that for a minute. But, uh, yeah. Gotcha. Well, that's cool. Yeah, we helped us out. Get us out there, get our shit on, like, iTunes and Spotify. Awesome. So, I guess, uh, who, uh, this is pretty much going to be the uh, end of the show here. This is the end of our little oh, 20 no. minutes interview. Okay. Um, you guys got anything else to say or um, uh, check us out? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> check us out. So what, what what are you gonna be playing tonight? As in what? Like like you got a, you, what? Do you, what's in your set and lineup? Oh, uh, we got some new songs, old songs, and we're gonna do a cover tonight. Uh, so it should be fun. Yeah. We practice it for like an hour today. So. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. We got it perfect. Oh, black black black. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, this is. Greg Willis of the Nerve Scheme, and this is Andy Hector. The Greek god of the band. The Greek god of the band. Right, from Mexico. Uh, <laughs> and that somewhere around... Trana. Trana? Trana. 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 Like, yeah. like, like trauma. Trauma, trauma. trauma. Yeah. They're like, oh, wow, Andy, trauma is the best. Yeah, I hope so. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. Like, I really appreciate it.